Welcome back to another episode. We have got the floor down. It's all painted. We're ready to move on to the next step. So, the young one to the left of me, he's going to tell you what's happening next. So, we're going to have a double bed here that is going to fold out in to two seats. We're going to have kitchen and bathroom on bathroom kitchen and then two seats at the front. Let's go on with it. So we need to uh, start doing some woodwork which is challenging because the bus obviously isn't square. So um, I started off by uh, making a little template uh, with a little cutout for the uh, where the seat rail was. So we're going to start by doing the seats at the back and hopefully get this to fit. Okay, so we're using some plywood that we've got um, and I've used a template to cut out the edge so fingers crossed this is going to fit in. Oh, look at that, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, as you can see that fits pretty well. And I just need to cut it off so that it's level with the with the window. So as you saw earlier, we managed to get the uh, end. This is going to be the end of the sofa, um, but we're going to need somewhere to put cups and phones and plugs and chargers, etc., etc. So we're using the uh, corner bit here to make a little shelf slash cupboard underneath. So we've cut this bit finely cut after about four attempts. A nice curved bit that will fit on the top. Um, and it'll be help support them with the button and then hopefully under the end here have a little shutter down so that we can it's a long thin narrow bit for storage but I'm sure we'll uh, well space is a premium isn't it so we'll find something to put in there I'm sure <laughs> ah. so we're just getting the wood protected we were painting it up before we put the, the bench seats in at the back um, we've decided after some deliberation that we're going to varnish it. We decided, uh, we went to the, the hardware store, bought some very expensive preserver and uh, did a couple of test paints um, on here. Um, and I decided that it was too yellow. I didn't really like it. We didn't really want to go with varnish, but after using some that we had at home, um, I decided that it was a more natural colour than, than the yellow. Uh, my husband disagrees, he, he doesn't see the difference in the two, but I've decided that, well, I'm doing it, so I've gone with the uh, the good old rusty can of varnish from the garage, so we're giving it a coat before we do it. This is going to be the back, this is the reconstituted wood that we had from left over from doing the floor, so we're doing the sides that it's going to go against the bus so that you won't see it, um, and then sanded back all the sides, so the nice sides will be the bits that you can see when it goes in, so hopefully it will give it a much more natural finish when uh, when it all goes in. So as you know, I've been working on the unit to go in the corner of the bus here. It has been a nightmare because nothing in this bus is straight, especially where the accident occurred. Um, so it's all a little bit crumpled. So getting straight lines has been difficult. There's a couple of bits which have had to be recut to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. But we now have the corner unit built with this lovely shutter, which, uh, was a bit tricky, but it's going to give us uh, an extra little storage corner space of premium on the bus. So um, that's going to go in here. We've still got some finishing off to do. Um, the varnishing needs to be done where it's been cut again. Um, and we're going to keep the protective plastic on the shutter doors for now, because when you're working in a small space with an 11 year old, things are bound to get dropped on and scratched. So hopefully it will be well. This will now tuck into the corner. We've got the cutout for the USB where we can charge phones etc whilst we're on the move um, and obviously the shutter in. And then this is going to be the first side for the bench seat that's going to go along the back which is going to make the bed. Um, so that's going to go along there. Um, so now we can start building off of this corner and continue all the way along the bus to get it done. So, as you can see, we're starting to get the box seat in. Um, so this is going to be the, the back section which I've got here. 
um, and we're going to have hinges on on it. So, um, so you can see the hinges will just slot into into there. Um, so I'm going to have three three hinges along it to give it a bit of extra support. So before we uh, varnish it all, I'm just chiselling out the grooves for that, um, and then that will go on to hopefully what will be a nice, comfortable back back seat or a back bed. Right, so we're in the front corner of the bus, obviously steps. The um, battery, this blue square here, this is the, uh, the top of the, uh, the second battery compartment. Around it, obviously, there was a few little holes. Unfortunately, I've lost the footage of how it was before I've done the plates, but I've put some plates around it to cover up the few holes. There was a hole sort of here and another one sort of here, just a small hole, um, and it just it was a bit thin. So I've just put some plates, so at least, you know, we haven't got to go to the hassle of trying to either, you know, we could do it from underneath in the future, but at least we've got something on the top. Um, it'll help with the strength, and the um, haven't got to lift the floor up in the future to try and repair it. Not that it would, it probably would need repairing at some point in the future, but obviously not the near future. So while we've got the availability to access it, get the patches on there now, and then we've got the strength for a long time. Okay, let's get the floor back down and um, get on with the next bit. So as you know, a couple of weeks ago we started varnishing to get the box section and all the shelving units in at the back here. The problem is, is I was using an old can of varnish which was coming out fine, um, but then we're now on our third can and even though they're saying the same on the tin, it's coming out with slightly different colours and I now seem to have sort of 17 different shades of brown which is driving me crazy. So I'm going to take my shelf because it's quite small, sand it back and see if I can sand it back to make it um, a bit more like the third test one that I've just done, which is a much more natural, less yellow colour. So fingers crossed, this time it'll work. Take one. Well, finally, as you can see that we've got the back bench finally fitted into place. Um, it's not been easy, we've had to re-screw a couple of the holes just to make sure it's wedged right into the corner. So as you can see, we've got the lift up lid, which got like a little finger hole in the middle to make it easier. And we've had to put an extra button across the back because it was quite a wide area. It was bowing when we were sitting on it. So now, hopefully, if my assistant sits in the middle of that, there shouldn't be any bowing so it's nice and solid um, obviously the corner unit is um, now attached to it as well so that's well and truly firmly in place and uh, thankfully the uh, shutter still goes up and down so that's all good so we have just finished first shutter we're now moving on to the second we're cutting and filing uh, Unfortunately, wedgie. it doesn't comes in one size and it's just slightly too big, so we've got to cut it down and make it fit in the gap that we've got in the bus. Okay, so I'm at the front of the bus. What we need to do is obviously use this bus as well as sleeping in, we need to drive in it. So as there's three of us, we need to have two seats up the front. UK law states that we have to have them either forward or rear facing and they need to be anchored in three points. The plan is at the moment is to build a box seat either side um, and then underneath the box seat will have storage but they need to be made out of metal. So what I've done is I've got some 20mm um, box tube. I'm going to make a seat to go on this side first and then obviously the same for this side but these box seats will also turn into Jake's single bed. So that's his bed at the front, and then also we'll have the double bed at the back. So I'm gonna show you um, the box seat that's gonna go here once I've put that together. Right, so I've got the box seat all built out of the 20 mil box section. This um, is gonna be the same as the seats were in the bus. I'm going to utilize the rail that's on the side. I'm going to bolt that into the same place. This will then also bolt through the floor. Um, for these seat belts, 
I've bought some plates already made up for the seatbelt mountings. I'm going to weld these, obviously this side. I'm going to weld these in the corners. Um, for the, it's going to, then going to help with the seat belts. Put three in, and then obviously we'll cover this in wood so it matches the rest of the bus. Looking good, I think. Can we pause it now? No, I'm going to film an epic montage. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I've temporarily got the frame bolted in. Um, it's it's all solid. Um, as you can see, we've got the uh, brackets for the seat belts uh, welded in. I've got the one either side and then the one up the top. So we've now got a three point, which we legally need to have. The rail that was uh, originally used for holding the seats, we've uh, got the um, bolts in uh, for that. And then obviously through the floor um, and there's a nice big washer underneath to support that. Um, this needs to be taken off again to be painted, uh, but for now it's in in place. Um, Susie's uh, cut a bit of wood nicely to go in the back. Um, then we can now get on with kitchen, or she can get on with the kitchen, and I can repeat the same the other side um, for Jake's seat as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I just wanted to let you know a little bit more about us, because obviously in that video there was a lot of we had to recut something or we had to re-varnish something or it didn't fit. So just to let you know a little bit more about us, um, we are not by any stretch carpenters, uh, mechanics, electricians, plumbers, none of us have the skill set really to be doing this bus but we uh, wanted to give it a go. Um, we're not scared of trying things, uh, watching lots and lots of YouTube videos. Um, obviously, uh, the most carpentry I had was back at uh, school, probably 25 years ago. This table is the biggest thing that I've ever made prior to starting this challenge. Um, and this is the biggest thing I've made in lockdown with some spare bits and wood. So, um, between us, we're just going to give it a go. However, the next project is going to be really challenging. It's going to be the kitchen, and that's going to be even bigger than these back seats. So. Um, Fingers crossed, but do you know what? We're going to give it a go. If we have to start again, then we will do. Um, basically, not scared of a challenge, so let's give it a go.